Hello gang, welcome to another command block tutorial video. Uh, Miss Recon is back from being sick and dying. Uh, I'm not wearing clothes, but he is. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do the substitution jutsu from Naruto in Minecraft. Also guys, remember if you enjoy the command videos, make sure to like and subscribe and give me some future suggestions so I have some more stuff to make for you guys. Yeah, let's get straight into the freaking showcase. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try to attack Miss Recon and then he's gonna show you guys how effective TS is. Okay. I'm going to attack this buff. Ah! Oh yep, it like flashes me and then where is bro? What? Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, and then he's gone. I don't know where the freak he is. Oh, yeah, so it's pretty it's pretty effective. If you don't want to fight back, you can just run away because it gives you invisibility and speed for a little bit. But if you do want to uh, uh, fight, you can just wait and strike from the freaking shadows. So that's pretty cool. Yep, he's gone again. Where is bro? Oh. Alright, I kinda suck. So yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get to the tutorial. Alright, so to start, let's do the setup commands and stuff. So first you want to slash give at s command underscore block. And you're also going to need a structure block. So type those two commands. Uh, if that doesn't work, you probably don't have cheats on in your world, so make sure to go into world settings and turn those on. Alright, so I already have my thing set up over here, but just put down um, an anvil, whatever, and then put a structure block wherever it doesn't have to be on top of each other like this. But what you're going to want to do first is get um, any non-throwable or interactive item. So just like a block, not like an egg or a snowball, but just a block. For me, I used oak log. Rename it to Substitution Jutsu. I, I hope I spelled that right. And then you're going to want to put down your structure block. Change the size and the offsets to how I have it with 111 and 010. Make sure include entities, remove blocks, show bounding box, save in memory, all that stuff is the same. Then what you're going to want to do is type in Substitution like that drop it in there press save get that out and then now when you load you should get substitution jutsu block so yeah now we are done with that next you can go ahead and set up your two scoreboards so if you just go and type scoreboard objectives add uh, sj dummy do that I already have it and then put that same thing, but do SJC for substitution jutsu cooldown. Next, you're gonna wanna start with the give and remove commands. So um, put two commands down wherever you want with uh, buttons on top of them, just impulse commands. And then they're gonna go down. So this first one, by the way guys, always check the block type, condition, redstone, and then Sometimes there's a delay in ticks down here, but I'll only that'll always be zero unless I show you guys otherwise. So this first one is scoreboard players add at P um, substitution jutsu one, so that adds one to that scoreboard for that player. This is going to give them the substitution jutsu block or er, structure. This is going to put a redstone block right under your first tower, so wherever your first tower is going to be. Make sure this is set to block position and copy those coordinates. Paste the coordinates. Uh, next one, and this is just going to say uh, this player equipped substitution jutsu. And you're done with that. Moving on to the remove. This is going to reset the player's substitution jutsu scoreboard instead of adding. This is going to set block air to, again, right here. So copy the coordinates to whatever block is right under your first tower. By the way, for all three of these, leave a 
one block spot under all of these towers. Next, you are going to do clear at P log. Now, I'm using a log, but for example, if you used a fence for your block for substitution jutsu, yeah, if you used a fence instead, you would change this to fence, and then it would clear the fence out of your inventory. But I'm using a log, as you can see. Next, uh, scoreboard players, this is going to reset the substitution jutsu cooldown scoreboard instead of like we did here with the normal one this is for the cooldown and then finally it is going to set block air to uh, this third command tower under this one so get those coordinates paste those into there followed by air i do give it should give me substitution jutsu redstone block under the first tower and then if I click this, it gets it out of my inventory, and it gets rid of the redstone block. Now that we are done with the setup, we can move on to the first tower. Alright, so this is going to be repeating uh, needs redstone or the line takes. This is going to execute whenever it detects an item named substitution jutsu which is when you throw the item and then it will add one to your substitution jutsu score turning it from one to two because you know one plus one is two and then this is going to kill the substitution jutsu item so it's not repeating the command from before and then this is going to run the this is going to run a particle command this is just a play sound command for the log appearing. This is another play sound, so they like stack on top of each other. And then this is going to set block a log wherever you're standing. And then this is going to affect anyone with um, substitution jutsu score two and visibility for five seconds. Same thing, but this is going to give uh, players with Substitution Jutsu 2 speed 2 for 5 seconds. Next, it is going to put a redstone block under your second tower. So, get any block for that. Make sure it's under your second tower, not your third or your first. Copy those coordinates, bring them up to here. Paste those, and then, yeah. Then you're going to want to go back down to your first tower. <laughs> get those coordinates and paste them in here next it's just going to be the same command as before but it's going to put the log block one block taller so that it's two log blocks instead of one next this is going to tag anyone with uh, substitution jutsu 2 the substitution jutsu tag then this is um the camera fade that makes it so that it's like a flashbang when you get hit with it because as you guys saw before my screen kind of like widened out for a second that's what this does it makes it so that my screen turns white for a little bit of time all right we're done with the first tower now moving on to the second tower it's going to start with an impulse using redstone by the way guys all of these commands are going to be in the description if you just want to go copy and paste those instead of having to manually type them in just so it's easier for you guys but this is just going to be a title command that shows how many seconds you have left of invisibility and speed and then this is going to be a play sound just for like effect you know like a countdown sound uh this one is going to have a 20 delay in ticks because it's a second later so now it's at four because it's a countdown again going to be the same exact command for the play sound Again, after another 20 ticks, which is one second, because one second is equal to 20 ticks. Yeah. Now it is going to be substitution three. So this is a lot of copy and paste commands. You can just copy and paste most of this. Uh, again, substitution two after another 20 ticks. And then the sound effect again. Substitution one after another 20 ticks. Sound effect again. Uh, substitution zero. I actually I did a thing here if you can if you search up weird minecraft s you can uh, copy and paste I also think there's a way you get it on keyboard for mobile but 
if you have this uh, symbol right here, this thing, and then you put a number in front of it, it changes the color of the text. So yeah, that's pretty cool. This is gonna be after another 20 delay takes. This is gonna play the sound effect, except it's, uh, oh, it's different. It's beacon.activate or deactivate. So it makes like a deactivation sound because that means the invisibility timer has ended. After that, it's going to set block air down here under the second tower. So you can just fall down. Get those coordinates. I forgot where I was. Yeah, paste those in here. Okay, this next one is going to basically add the substitution jutsu cooldown score, or one to that score, for any player using the substitution jutsu after its runtime is complete. Then, this is going to remove one from the substitution jutsu score, setting it back to one, because it's two before. This is going to set redstone down here under the third tower. So, copy those coordinates, paste them in here. Next, it's going to be a play animation. So this is just the animation that plays when you um, come out of invisibility. You saw it in the showcase. Ah! Okay, next, this is going to be uh, the particle, knockback roar particle that plays for your character once you come out of invisibility. You also saw that in the showcase. And then this is just going to remove that um, substitution jutsu tag from anyone who has it. Moving on to the third and final command tower. Okay, this is going to be another impulse and it's going to have a delay and ticks of 200, which I think is 10 seconds because it would be 20 times however many seconds you want, which 20 times 10 is 200. So this is going to uh, load the structure, the substitution jutsu, which is how you um, get the item back after the cooldown, after a delay of ticks and 10. This is going to put a redstone block back at tower 1, so you can use it again once the cooldown is up. So yeah, put those coordinates in there. Next, this is going to set a block um, negative three or three blocks down from this current block with air so that would be one two three which means the block would get block of air would get placed right there which is where we want it next this is going to execute if um, the entity with if the entity has the cooldown scoreboard for substitution jutsu it's going to remove that, setting it back from 1 to 0, because it removes 1, so sets it back to 0. Alright, after that, you should have everything, and when you click this, you should get it. You should be able to drop it. Am I tweaking? Alright, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoy the commands. And remember, if you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate the support. It means so much to me. Thank you guys so much. Have a gridtastic rest of your day. And goodbye.